it's difficult to make money. It's a wrong mentality. If one has that mentality, that's, that's, um, that's how it will be for the person. Because as a man thinks in his heart, so he is. Okay? He starts from the heart. My pastor said the heart of the matter is a matter of the heart. If you think it's difficult to make money, then it will be difficult. If you think you can't make money legitimately, then you cannot make money legitimately. If one thinks one cannot make money in this country, then you can't make money in this country. I think it was Henry Ford who was uh, said to have said that whatever you think in your heart, you are correct. If you think you can, you can. If you think you cannot, you cannot. Whichever way, you are very 100% correct. Praise the Lord. I said, praise God. So, money, the, 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 your mentality about money has to be helped. If one must do well with money. Other mentalities. Um, I will only start making money when I finish school. It's a mentality. Some people are, well, during their school days, some people have this mentality, when I'm a student, I'm a full-time student. People should give me. So they, they, they haggle every person around them just to get money. Praise the Lord. It's my right as a student. They have given him the 30,000 naira he needs for, to be in school. He will collect 30,000 from like three people, from uncle, from auntie. He's a, he's a professional student. Praise the Lord. He's waiting for one day when he will finish school formally. And then, and then um, he will do youth service formally. Then I will, he will join the job market. Uh -huh, now I want to start making money. Wrong mentality. Wrong mentality. Why are you there you are at school? There are some of your mates who are paying their way. Are you still here? There are some who are sponsoring themselves. There's, there are some who are businesses. I remember this, I'm talking about now, 1991. 1991. There was one of us. He was a bit elderly, though. I think he wasn't our mates. So he must have done, really spent some time before he came to school. He sent himself through medical school. His name was Ebenezer. We used to call him Ebenz. Everywhere he went, he had his camera around his neck. That is how he sent himself to school. Praise the Lord. Wrong mentality. When I finish school, I will, I will start making money. Okay? I'm, another wrong mentality, I'm too young to make money. Very wrong. Nobody is too young to make money. Praise the Lord. And then this is a big one. Um, I can make money legitimately and go scot-free with it. It's a wrong mentality. I can make money legitimately and go scot-free with it. It's a wrong mentality. Um, let me show you some scriptures. Can we be very fast? Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 11. Okay? They say they, they can't help us this morning. Open your Bible quickly. Another person, Proverbs 23, verse 4 to 5. Another person, Proverbs 13, 11. We are reading all three. You grab one and open to it. Jeremiah 17, 11. Somebody project your voice and then read. Do I need to go through them again? Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 11. Praise God. Some people don't even have Bible. Yes. No, no, mentor, please sit down. You are not the one I asked to read. You are, Jeremiah you are a guest in this church. Praise God. Jeremiah 17. Yes. 11. Yes. As the partridge seated on eggs. Yes. And hatched them not. Yes. So he that getteth riches mm. and not by right yes. shall leave them in the midst of his days mm. and at his end shall be a fool. Yes. As the partridge sits on eggs and does not hatch them. That is how, who, how the person who gets riches, but not by right, he will leave them in the midst of his days and he will be a fool at the end. This Yahoo Yahoo people are doing, they, they are mortgaging their destinies. Are you still here? Mortgaging their destinies. 
Unless life is not spiritual, that's when people will escape with such things. Mud gauging. I mean, things will befall such persons at some times in their lives. Everything they have touched in front of money, they, they will remember they ever touched money. Are you still here? Don't, don't, don't uh, envy them all. <laughs> it's a terrible way to make money. Are you still here? Somebody else, did you open somewhere else? Quickly, I told us, oh, let's all open to it. Proverbs chapter 23, 4 to 5, quickly. No, 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 not you, love. Is she the only one who came to Bible, to church with her Bible? Quickly. Labor not to be rich. Yes. Cease from thy own wisdom. Yes. Verse 5. With thou set thy eyes mm. upon that which is not, mm. for riches certainly make themselves wings. Riches make themselves wings and do what? They fly away as and an angel. Yes. To Labor not there means don't overdo to be rich. That's what it means. Uh, don't, don't use a bon agbari, uh, scam to make money. Such riches develop wings and fly away. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. Because the truth is, listen, listen to this. If someone has not learned to make money genuinely, when it comes time, when government policies or life situations catch up with such illegal things and they can't make money through those means again, they will not be able, even if they have plenty of money at their disposal, they can't convert those things into genuine business because they never learned it. Are you still here? They can't. So they will drop people. Ah, there, come and put here. Come and invest here. You will just carry half of the money, put invest here. Pew, the thing will go down. Because he never learned the rudiments of investing and investing correctly. Are you still here? Are you still here? So wrong mentality. Qu quickly, another M of money will not be able to uh, belabor that. Please don't get, um, don't get carried away when some people, your maids, are building houses. Th those houses, they will sell it at the end of the day. Just give it 20 years. Give it 25 years. B by the time people are turning 50, 45, you will see. They will wish they never uh, uh, handled that kind of money. Is somebody following me? The next M of money you need to master is the meaning of money. What does... If you must know, understand what money means, you'll be able to command it. And throughout last month, I think we said a lot about that. Money is simply what is paid in exchange for value provided. What is paid in exchange for value provided? What is paid in exchange for value provided? What is paid in exchange for value provided? Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. So, I mean, and we will not believe about this. We have said a lot about generating values. All right. I just want to encourage us in this. As I don't know how you are going to be able to do it. Waiting for third service, that is Friends Connect service, will help you. I don't know how you are going to do it. Whether you go home, come back, or you go and eat a malan, come back, it will help you. I mean, people are coming here, sharing their life experiences, how God really tried to pick them. The last person who came, within one year, he took a product that he partnered with somebody, and it was over a billion dollars, uh, sorry, billion naira uh, turnover. You want to listen to such people. How did they do it? Glory to God. I said glory to God. I said glory to Jesus. Are you still here? Uh, so, um, meaning of money, it means, man, money is a means, is what is paid for value. Proverbs eleven twenty six: he that we told scorn, the people shall curse him. We told scorn. Somebody, uh, I want to say, he that odds scorn, is he either odds it deliberately, or is withholding it because he doesn't know he has it. There's a value that his God has given him to for him to administer to his generation, he does not, he either doesn't know that he has that value, 
or he knows that value is not he has not developed it enough to deliver it or he has developed it to deliver it is not delivered it bible says the course will alight on that kind of person the other part is a good one but the blessing somebody say blessing will be on the head of him that sells it. are you still here are you still here okay very important second kings chapter four write it down the woman was about to lose her children to death um she cried out to the prophets prophet say what do you have in your house let me ask your neighbor what do you have in your house okay you see it's just um this is reiterating what i said earlier everybody has some value initially the woman said i don't have anything no prophet must have looked at her very well and then say, ah, I have a pot of oil. Uh-huh. Prophet say you have something. L- write it down. Write it in capital if you can. God never leaves anybody without a value. Nobody is without value. Nobody is without value. Have you seen all these midgets? These uh, midgets. Have you seen them acting film coming out now to doing well in Hollywood? Have you seen them? Have you seen them? And then recently I saw this, the tallest man. He must be the tallest man in Nigeria. One man that lives in Isaleko. Very, he's a giant actually. Have you seen him also acting, getting involved with Dollywood? Oh, you haven't seen him. One Yoruba man, very big like this. He lives in Isaleko. They are, they are, he, he, he's making money just by physical appearance. Everybody has value. So the prophet told him, I said, go and sell the oil. Borrow vessels turn this all into business and then start making money so when she had multiplied the oil she came to tell the prophet prophet said go and sell it and pay your debt and you and your children live on the rest glory to god i said glory to god so question write it address it to yourself what do i have to sell to my generation some girls the only thing they are hoping to sell is uh, their body body that is fleeting praise god fleeting beauty fleeting you must have some other value glory to god add value to your to your brain to your mind add value to your hands add value have a value to deliver number the third m of money i want to talk about is you now know you need to understand how to make money you understand money you have the right mentality about money you under you 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 know what money means if you know what money means you know where to go look for it praise the lord i said praise the lord if i if somebody's told me now that um, sister ruth is coming into this church and i've never met her before and i've never seen her before he, even she might even be sitting in front and i will not know it's her Am I communicating? If you know how money is, what it looks like, where it comes from, what it answers to, you'll be able to do it. Number three, you need to know how to take that value you have now made or created. You need to know how to sell it, how to get it to the end users. Praise the Lord. So we'll read from Proverbs 31 verse 16. I'll read very fast. The virtuous woman, she considers a field and buys it. Look at enterprise. Look at entrepreneur in here. Uh, and buys it with the fruit of her hands. With some money she has somewhere. She plants a vineyard. That is farming. She gets her loins with strength and strengthens her arms. She's not lazy. She perceives that her merchandise, somebody say merchandise, is good. Her candle goeth not out by night. She lays her hands to the spindle and her hands hold the distaff. She stretches out her hands to the poor. She re- reaches forth her hands to the needy. She's not afraid. Let's jump to verse, uh, verse 22. She makes herself coverings of tapestry. This woman is into farming. She's into textile making. Okay? Uh, 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 praise the Lord. She makes herself coverings of tapestry. Her clothing is silk and purple. Her husband is known in the gates. Why would the man, the man not be known? It's not suffering. He has a help of destiny. Glory to Jesus. I said glory to Jesus. Listen to me, people of Jesus. He listen, people, the kind of pastor you have. If a young man comes to me and says, that sister, I'm interested in her. 
And I know the sister is one lazy, no value. I will discourage him. That's the kind of pastor I am. He, the reverse is also true. If once I say that brother is uh, he's, uh, he's talking to me, but the this, the young man is talking about has no value, I will not keep short. <laughs> I will not keep. I will say it. I'm not the kind of pastor. I praise God, and then the person will go and be suffering inside marriage. Glory to God. I say glory to Jesus. Okay. Uh, the way the why I do that is I will ask myself if this person be standing before me now. I sit there before me now. Was my daughter? Will I allow her to go on? If this were my sibling, blood sibling, will I allow him to go on? And that's uh, so. Uh, uh, enterprise is important, but let's go on. Bible says she twenty four. She make it. Somebody say make it. Find lining and sell it. it. Selling is not a sin. Selling. Somebody say sell. Say it again. Sell. You got to have something you are selling. Whether it's a product or a service, value somehow that people are paying you for. Your money will come. Glory to God. I said glory to God. I said glory to God. So that's how to make money. That's how it's not difficult. Creating sellable value and selling it. Getting it to those who need it. Convincing them to buy it. Period. That's how people make money. Hallelujah. And there's value everywhere. There's value everywhere. Glory to Jesus. I said glory to Jesus. There's value everywhere. There's value everywhere. There are some things that they produce in your villages. In some of us now. Our village there are some things that they produce there. That are gold here in my 12 there. All you need to do is say, Auntie, you go to the village, your uncle's wife, and let's be doing business. I'll be sending you money, you buy it, you put it inside, very good for me, you bring it here. You go to my two, my twelve. At my twelve, you don't even need to be there after some time. There's one house, man or somebody who will say, ah, Musa, they don't they come, they don't reach uh, Shagamu, they wait for them. As soon as they get there, Musa will, would have paid your money. That's how they do there. Simple. Nobody, he doesn't need uh, science. He doesn't need anything. He just needs to, somebody to, to want to do it. Glory to Jesus. Are you still here? Are you still here? Next M is you need to master how to, sorry, how to manage money. So what are the three M's we have talked about? First M. Number 2M. Number 3M. Fourth M, managing money. Proverbs 21, 20, 21, 20. Bible says there is a treasure to be desired and all in the dwelling of the wise, but a foolish man spended it up. Praise the Lord. Whatever it is you are earning as you are seated here now, all is not for your spending. You must master that thought. All the money that comes into your mind and is not for your spending. You must master it. If it's 5,000, it's not all, it's not for your spending. If it's 20,000, all is not for your spending. If it's 5 million, all is not for your spending. Am I communicating? Inside that money is seed. And two types of seed. Seed that you will give to others. Seed that will, you will give to yourself. And then bread. The ones you will spend on your sal, on transport, on eating, on whatever, whatever. Inside that money, no matter how small it is. I showed you a scripture from Genesis 40, was it 47? How the the Egyptians kept coming back to Joseph. Give us bread. You remember? They came again. Uh, we don't have any money again. So take our land. Give us bread. He gave them. They went. Because bread will always finish. Am I communicating? Then their head corrected. Praise the Lord. <laughs> God helped them. Somehow God must have helped them. One, only one complain. Bam. The thing. Lago bass. They now came to Joseph and said, Sir. You have seen everything now. Give us seed that we may sow our land. Listen. So all those while 
that there was famine true, but the seed was cultivatable. Sorry, the land was cultivatable. Am I communicating? If you go and read that chapter, that's where the story ended. Once they asked for seed, Bible ended it like that. Uh, you people are thinking correctly. Praise God. Whether it's, whether it's a job 500 naira per day, 1,000 naira per day. Do you know if you do a job, of one, you, maybe you make uh, uh, 2,000 daily, and you do a job of 1,000 daily, the way to think is this. If you didn't earn that money, you will still be alive. Am I communicating? Yes, you won't die. If you didn't earn that 2,000, you will not die. Now you started work. You are earning 70,000 now, the past seven, eight months. But between uh, um, H, um, NYSC and getting that job, there was an 18 months where you earned nothing and you didn't die. Am I communicating? So that 17,000 cannot, if you take out of it and sow it into your destiny, it can't kill you. So you are earning 70,000, your mentality of, of, you should have the mentality of somebody who earns 30,000. My time is flying, but I must show you this. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. Is somebody still here? You have gone home. Are you still here? Write down Proverbs chapter 18 verse 9. He also that is lawful in his work is brother to him that is a great waster. Glory to Jesus. I said glory to Jesus. I want to show you this scripture. Uh, and I saw it now. Praise the Lord. Are you blessed? Are you blessed? Uh, I wanted to show you that scripture. But I've, I've shared it in church before. Bible says that he is better who wait let me look for you eh proverbs what 12 verse 9 yes quickly quickly if i stop on this i don't mind it will help can we read it together i want to go let's read like three or four versions quickly Want to go? Read another version quickly. One more scripture. One more version. Packaging. That is the undoing of this generation. He wants to be wearing clothes. He sees Mentor Solomon the way Mentor Solomon dresses. He just starts earning 70,000. He said I wa he wants to be wearing clothes like Mentor Solomon. He has stayed. Are you still here? You don't do that. Nobody is looking at you. Am I communicating? No, anybody who is looking at saying this guy's cloth is not good, they should go and buy for you. Come on. He said it is better to be a man that is the people think you don't have anything, but you have servants. A servant means he has staff. <laughs> he has an, an organization. He has staff. But they will think he's an ordinary person than to be packaging. Package. Some people, you know why some people fight if you hit their car? Their car is all they got. Oh, that's all. That is his life. That's his life investment. Every, nothing must happen to that car. He spends 100,000 naira per month maintaining that car. But he doesn't have any saving. If, if they say he should stop work now, tomorrow he will start begging. It's a very wrong living. Don't go around impressing anybody. If it's the one shoe you have, just keep it neat. Praise God. Be, be keeping your money. Be throwing your money into your future. The people who laughed at you, they will come back to laugh with you. Ah, that amen is weak. Yes, they will come back to laugh with you. I'll just mention the other ones and then we'll stop. So we have seen four M's, haven't we? Eh? 
Okay? What is the fifth M now? Glory to Jesus. Have we talked about multiplying money? Eh? Also, so you manage money so you have enough. And then the one you have, you put it in investment vehicles. Uh, three, three ways of multiplying money. Creating multiple sources of, of making money. Investing in established concerns. Investing in startup start businesses. Investing in appreciating values like real estate. Somebody buys land, 8 million today. Uh, 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 five years later, there are, some people uh, are begging him with 35 million naira. But if he didn't put that 8 million together, he would never have been able to buy that one. Are you still here? Are you still here? Glory to Jesus. I said glory to Jesus. Write down 1 Kings chapter 10 from verse 22. Right up to 29, you will see it there. Solomon didn't become rich because God, just because God said it. He, he took the wisdom that God gave him and he turned it around in business. The fifth M is, what is it fifth now or sixth? The sixth M is mobilizing money. You must master how to mobilize money. You mobilize money. That, this is how to spiritually control money now because money is spiritual. If money were not spiritual, Jesus would not compare money to God. He said you cannot serve God and mammon. That's what the Bible says. If money were not spiritual, they would not be doing spiritual means and money will be answering. So they take somebody's pants. <laughs> or they take somebody's pad that they used to do monthly period. And they do some things and then it turns to money. Or they take somebody's blood and it turns to money. That's because money is very highly spiritual. Now, you and I cannot do it. But we have our own spiritual ways. Am I communicating? What are our spiritual ways? Praying. Confessing. Calling forth those things which be not as though they are. Giving. Making sacrifices. Covenant sacrifices. I showed you Genesis 28. Jacob was poor. He was poverty going somewhere to explode. And then he encountered Jehovah. Jehovah said, I will bless you. Do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. Mary, okay, you can come and stand here instead of sitting there. She wants me to see her. Very well, I'll drop your mic in two minutes. Then, then, then Jacob woke up. Then Jacob, listen to me. Jacob woke up and said, hey, God, so you will do all these things. He said, no problem. You see this stone that I used to sleep. I will keep 10% of all the things you bless me with. And when I come back here, this stone I used to sleep, I will use it to lay the foundation of a building for you. 20 something years later, Genesis 30, Genesis 31, God comes to um, 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 Jacob. By this time, the wealth transfer had happened and say, I am the Lord God. God of Bethel. That morning when he woke up, he blessed the place and changed the name to Bethel. He said, Jacob, I am the Lord God of Bethel. Jacob was still owing Shinra, right? He was still trying to say, what do better, better, better. No. Where you vowed a vow. Vow, 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 vow. Where you anointed a pillar. Jacob said, I remember, I remember. Now, stand up. And go and do what you said. I have done my part. I am the Lord God that gives you power to get wealth. That I might establish my covenant. He does it so he can establish me. So it, there has to be a covenant. I told you when we started Even Pharmacy. We told God 20%. They, you, they, you talked about 10 in your Bible. 20%. And all the kinds of things we saw in Even Pharmacy. Only Even be able to tell it. Glory to God. Are you still here? You must master the mistakes of money. We'll not be able to talk about that. Lastly, you must master money. Mastering money involves keeping it from entering into your head. Keeping it from becoming your God. Keeping it from turning you into a villain. Is he a villain or a villain? That's a bad person. Some people, when money, you, they, you will never know they are terrible human beings until money enters their hands. Every girl flying around because they have money to buy uh, uh, cake, they start sleeping with them. 
they start oppressing people. That's, that person has not mastered money. Money has mastered them. You won't fail God. That amen is weak. That amen is weak. Somebody say I'm ready for it. I pray for you as you talk on money matters this month. I pray that you will have an encounter. That 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now, your, your, where you will be in, in, in promotion and elevation will be traceable to that encounter. In the name of Jesus, I command ideas to flow. I command your mind to open. Access to secrets from on eye. And the people of Jesus said, Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much.